I'm Dana Roselli right now on your 13 action news update. Metro police gave a briefing this morning on a man that was violently beaten after a carjacking. It happened right near Fremont Street in East Charleston last night. We have posted the video on our social channels if you want to take a look at this one, but you can see he's approached by it looks like three men who beat him to the ground. Police are very upset about this and they are looking for these suspects right now. Well, we're still waiting for two counties to report the results of last night's election. There are several big races that we're following closely here at home. We've been doing it all night, all morning. First, the results for governor. Democrat Steve Sisolak officially defeated Republican Adam Laxalt 49% to 45%. This is the first time in 20 years Nevada has elected a Democratic governor. And now to the tight race for U.S. Senate. Jackie Rosen beating the incumbent Dean Heller 50% to 45%. We were there when Heller conceded. He said the Republican Party party must come back together, but also praise the work of the Trump administration and what they've done so far. Heller has served the Senate on behalf of Nevada since 2011. He says in all the years he's been a politician, this is the first time in 30 years that he's had to call an opponent to concede. Weather looks pretty great on this Wednesday afternoon. Temperatures headed into the low in the mid 70s. Tonight will fall down to the low 50s, upper 40s in some neighborhoods. Bigger weather story tonight will be a cold front that'll stir the winds up from the north. During the daytime Thursday, 25 mile per hour steady breezes could gust to 35 miles per hour here in the valley. And that wind will drop our temperatures. Highs on Thursday and Friday, Dana, will only be in the mid 60s. All right, thanks so much. Well, that was your 13 Action News update. You can find more on our website, ktnv.com, and our free mobile app. Have a great Wednesday, everyone.